I didn't plan on making this video. I actually had something else planned for today that I'm going to have to push back to later next week because to me, this is far more important. So Microsoft has been going through waves of layoffs across all of its studios and divisions, but the one that seems to be the most affected is 343 Industries, the developers behind the Halo franchise for the past decade or so. At the moment, we know that over 100 of the 450 employees at 343 have been let go, and that's just so far. As of yesterday, that number was only about 60, and now it's more than doubled. So it's possible that even more employees have been laid off, most of them who are involved in the art side of things or are working on the single-player content for Halo Infinite. On top of this, Joseph Staten was brought in by Microsoft late in Halo's development to help salvage what was essentially turning into a botched project, has now left 343. Now he wasn't fired or let go, rather he went back to doing other things in Microsoft as he had been doing before his involvement with Halo Infinite, but still. The fact that Microsoft seems to have pulled Joe Staten out as well as laying off over 100 employees tells me that something very, very big is going on with Halo and 343. Some now former developers have taken to the internet criticizing incompetent leadership and blaming them for the layoffs in the state of Halo Infinite as a whole. I wanted to wait a day or two after this news broke before I did a proper video on it because I wanted to wait for more information to come out, but thus far, this is basically all we have as of the writing of this script, which is late Thursday night. There's been no official word from 343 or Microsoft as to why exactly these layoffs are happening on such a large scale, specifically with 343, but I think it's safe to say that there's a reasonable amount of speculation to be had here. The writing has been on the wall for literally over a decade. It doesn't matter how you feel as an individual about 343's Halo games or their overall handling of the franchise, but the fact of the matter is, is that Halo has been on the decline ever since 343 took over, with a massive disproportionate player drop-off starting with Halo 4. And then you had the launch of MCC in 2014 was a total dumpster fire, and Halo 5 wasn't received particularly well either. And now we have Halo Infinite and the entire thing has been a complete shit show. But I don't want this video to be a rant about 343's past mistakes so much as I wanted to weigh in and give my opinion on what's going to happen to Halo in the future. I've seen a lot of speculation that Halo is basically done, that 343 as a whole is simply fired, and that Halo is over. I don't think it's nearly that simple, at least not yet. While I do agree that these layoffs are anything but routine, I'm unsure of how things will happen going forward, and I think it realistically comes down to one or a combination of several possible outcomes. Outcome number one, nothing will change other than the fact that 343 now has 100 plus less employees working for them, and the quality of Halo Infinite will continue to suffer, even further, and updates will be few and far between. I think this is the least likely of the outcomes, as it would be incredibly foolish, but then again, it's not unheard of for this to happen in the gaming industry. So it is possible, but there is one thing that makes me think the situation may be even worse than that. And that is the fact that the layoffs seem to have affected predominantly the developers working on art, visuals, and again, the single player side of things. This leads me to outcome number two. A skeleton crew is left at 343 to work on Halo Infinite and see it through a few more seasons, shelving the originally talked about 10 year plan because, let's be honest, that was probably shelved months ago, if not before Halo Infinite even came out. The game isn't doing well enough for it to go on for 10 more years, or I don't even think it'd go on for 2 more years with a healthy player base. And these layoffs, I think, prove that they have no intention of carrying it through. But I do think, with all that money Microsoft spent developing Halo Infinite, they'll still want to try and at least get their money's worth out of it and do their best to keep the game alive and supported for at least another year. But the question still remains, what happens after that? And then another question, why would Microsoft get rid of the people working on single-player content? As far as I know, the development cycle for Halo games basically works like this. Right before or immediately after a new Halo game releases, development starts on the next one. So, if Microsoft just axed the people working on single player and art content, that seems to suggest that they have not only halted any potential story DLC for Halo Infinite, but also any campaign for any future game. This leads me to think that either A, the next Halo game to come out won't have a campaign and will go more the route of Apex Legends, because we know for a fact that 343 likes to follow trends, and they might just follow the Battle Royale trend and dropping campaigns, because basically, if you don't know, Apex Legends does have some loose ties to the Titanfall lore, from what I understand, but obviously there's no campaign in Apex Legends, right? Um, and then B, there simply just isn't going to be another Halo game, at least not one made by 343. Now, this is a common take I've been seeing a lot lately, as I've been researching the topic, 
Some people are saying Microsoft might turn 343 into more of an overseeing publisher rather than actual developers, while another studio takes control of actually making any of the future games. I really hope this isn't the case because, again, in my personal opinion, I don't think that 343 management should be in charge of anything. Again, I won't go into too much as of to why, but if you really want to know, then click the link in the video description, and that will lead you to a thing that I made a while ago, where I basically break down every Halo game's release. As far as having another studio develop the games, I have mixed feelings on that one because on the one hand, how would they even do that lore-wise? Would they do something like Star Wars did and decanonize everything that wasn't the original material? Again, I'd personally be in favor of this for reasons I'll likely discuss in another video, but it does beg the question, who would pick up the Halo franchise and how would they do it? What would change stylistically? Would the gameplay change? A lot of people point to id Software making a Halo game, but I honestly don't see it. I loved Doom 2016, but I just think that type of game wouldn't fit Halo, nor do I think it's probable that Microsoft would pick id Software to develop it. But if they did, I would still be interested in seeing what they come up with. The other theory is that after Halo Infinite is totally done, with that, Halo as a franchise will simply be done. On the one hand, I don't know about that since the second season of the Halo TV series has been given the green light, despite what people think about it, it has been given the green light. But then again, there have been series that have been canceled in the middle of filming too, so it's kind of uncertain there. They've also got a new book coming out that's been pushed back several times, so I feel like that's more supporting evidence that it may just be, Halo may just be done. But the biggest reason of all is that Halo, while it's not as big as it used to be, is still a very big franchise for Microsoft, but then again, the caveat to that is that it's not what it used to be. In fact, it's a shadow of its former self, thanks to 10 plus years of gross mismanagement, out of touch developers, and corporate greed gone amok. And the thing I want to note here, yes, it is 343's fault for this. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I've seen many people defending 343 saying that they're some kind of victims and that Microsoft is the big, bad, evil bully in this situation. But the fact is, is that Microsoft was really tough on Bungie too, and we didn't see the same bullshit going on when Halo was being developed by them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a Bungie fanboy, not by a long shot. What they did to Destiny and to Martin O'Donnell was just plain wrong. But the fact of the matter is, is that 343 has had over 10 years now to deliver a good Halo game. And in the opinion of the overwhelming majority of the Halo community and myself, they failed to do so. Note that when I say the overwhelming majority of the community, I'm talking about the tens if not hundreds of thousands of gamers that have left Halo over the past decade. Not just the people that continue to play Halo now, because obviously you're going to have a very certain type of group of people that are still playing, but... The fact that you've had so many people leave Halo, the numbers don't lie. And the fact is that Halo has had a massive dip in terms of player retention in especially the past few years, but really the whole past decade. Halo has not done well under 343. It's an objective fact, and 343 is at fault for it. I'm not saying every single member of 343 is bad, but the fact is a large number of people at 343 have repeatedly displayed a total lack of understanding and even care for this franchise and the desires of its fan base. It seems like certain elements of 343, not just the management, are more worried about injecting their own agendas, wishes, and depictions into Halo rather than actually continuing and more importantly respecting the legacy of what Bungie did with the original Halo games. I'm not saying Halo had to stay exactly the same as it was in 2007. It doesn't need to, nor should it have. It needed to change. There were problems with Bungie's games. But the thing is, under 343, we have seen so many unnecessary changes time and time again, with 343 going as far as to literally have hating Halo as criteria to work for them in a pathetic attempt to make the game appeal to a broader audience. But Halo had a broad audience. It had a very broad audience. They didn't need to broaden the appeal of the game. They just needed to appeal to those who already loved it most. But they didn't. Instead, that they alienated, mocked, and displayed total apathy towards many of their critics. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Certain people at 343 deserve to be fired. One concern I do have here, though, is that with these layoffs, the wrong people got fired. 
Thus far, I have not seen people like Frank O'Connor get let go, nor have I heard anything about that guy who said Halo is a competitive at its DNA. These are people that these are the people I'm talking about. I'm not saying that the overworked, underpaid, sleep-deprived worker who tries his hardest and busts his ass every day with a genuine passion to do what's right deserves anything negative. But I do fear that those people, at least some of those people, probably got caught in the crossfire of this whole debacle. With that, I think there is one other possible option. An outcome I think that most people don't want to see and that this is the potential that Halo will simply just cease to be a thing in terms of new games. The remainder of 343 will slowly get let go as time goes on and Infinite's life cycle winds down to an accelerated close with only a small skeleton crew providing bug fixes and the occasional small content update. After Halo Infinite support is discontinued and an announcement will be made, likely stating that Halo is being put on an indefinite hiatus where it'll be shelved and then potentially rebooted sometime in the very distant future. I'm talking 10 plus years. I think this outcome is actually quite likely. I'm not saying that it will happen. I'm not even saying that it's most likely. I would say it's probably 50% there and 50% with another studio. And I I'm not sure. Maybe a third there, a third in another studio, and a third. I, I don't really know. It's just speculation. But Microsoft over the past few years has been really trying hard to acquire as many game studios as possible. I mean, they have Bethesda under their wing now. So they've got Elder Scrolls 6 to drop and Fallout 5 eventually, as well as having countless other franchises under their control to milk, combined with the fact that, like I said before, Halo has drastically declined over the years. And this tells me that the unthinkable of Halo just ceasing to exist anymore in terms of new content might actually be happening. Halo might be getting killed off once and for all, at least for the foreseeable future. My personal take on this is that, while it might not be a good thing, at the same time, that last outcome might be the best thing. I love Halo, or at least I did. But as they say, sometimes the things you love most you just have to let go. I had a lot of hope and faith when 343 first took over the franchise. I really was rooting for them for years. I forgave them after Halo 4. I tried to forgive them after MCC. I tried to stay optimistic with Halo 5. And then after Halo 5, I just lost all faith in them. But I loved Halo. I've read most of the books. I own all of them. I've got countless mega blocks, props, and even a giant scarab replica, and I've poured countless hours into all of the games, including Spartan Assault and Strike. I loved this franchise, but I feel like the past few years especially, it's just been kind of like a sick pet, a creature that's in constant pain and suffering beyond repair, where the best viable option is to just put it down. It's painful, and you don't want to, but you know that it just has to be done. At the end of the day, though I'd be still somewhat interested in seeing another studio reboot the franchise, like I said earlier, maybe start after Halo 3, start with a new Halo 4. But then again, sadly, with the current state of gaming as a whole, which I'll actually be talking about in next week's video, I just don't see much good coming out of it. But that's going to be it for me today. Leave a like on this video and tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Halo should just be put down? Do you think another studio is going to take over? Or do you think that I'm totally overreacting and that nothing really is going to change? But that being said, I have been Broken Circle, and as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day, maybe rest in peace to Halo, and stay safe.